Hey everybody, this is Joe from Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing you another fun-filled, exciting video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you the trail I just made in the woods so I can access more uh, dead trees for firewood. So hopefully it's not too shaky because I don't have a GoPro camera like Mike Malwicky, and I'm going to have to hold this in my bare hand in the cold because I'm going to have to drive with the other hand and use the throttle. So. Like I said, hopefully it's not too bumpy. Let's give her a shot. Here's the access point right here. Um, this is our property. Uh, we put big deer right down here, other critters. So you can see I've been getting some of the wood out here already. I made this trail right here a couple weeks ago. Uh, this is on our neighbor's property, Augustine, and he said uh, he said we could uh, or I could uh, get the uh, dead trees off of his property. So I think his property line starts right here. Like I say, this trail I've already had. But right here today is when I, I came out with my steel MS-260 and uh, those uh, cutters right there and uh, I uh, cut down all the uh, silver maples as you can see there's a ton of them out here and th it, this whole trail was like this you know like that right there so this is all new stuff. I think tomorrow I'll come out and get that uh, that dead oak. You can see all the bark fell off it. It's good to go. I'll cut that up into pieces tomorrow. <clears throat> this oak's a little bit too big for me. It's about four foot in diameter at the base. I know there's probably about two full cord of wood there, but I don't know, I might get those limbs that are sticking off the top of it, but other than that, I'm not going to mess with it. I think I'll get this tree tomorrow, too. You can see it, it's dead, the bark's falling off. Um, but this one right here, that's going to be tricky because it's hung up on that silver maple, and the base of it's about ready to fall off. I don't know if you can see that, but I might need Ken's or uh, Chad's expertise on how to get that down. If I had to come along, I could probably pull it down pretty easy, but I think I'll wait on that one. That's going to be a little dangerous. Plus, above that, I don't know if you can see it, there's a branch hung up on that tree that could fall down on me if I drop that silver maple that's hung up by it. So, I'm going to wait on that. This is just some junk silver maple that was dead. I just had to clear it out of the way. And here's another oak right there. And that's already hung up on another tree. If you can see that, it's hung up on the oak right in front of it. So that one's gonna be a pain in the ass too. So I'm probably gonna need some help getting that, but it's ready to go and it's probably, you know, at, at least a quarter of a truckload, if not more. So, I need to get back here and get them. Here's another future project. That hickory, the top of it broke off and it's hung up on that white oak that's next to it. See, there's the top of the tree right there. But cutting that part down shouldn't be too hard, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna get that right there because, it's, like I say, it's real dangerous hung up on that white oak. So we'll see what we can do. But as you can see, the trail loops around right here. I 
him back where it started pretty much. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, like Joe's Premium Firewood on Facebook.